Please stand for the pledge. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome to CAST TV. I'm Drew Weingarten. And I'm Grant Stubbs. National Honor Society dues and forms for new members are due to Miss Ward today. No forms will be accepted after 3 p.m. Seniors, the NSI Omega Chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority is hosting a voter registration blitz today during lunch in the Mac Computer Lab. Any student that is within six months of their 18th birthday or is already 18 years old may register. A valid government issued ID is required to register. Field or Read Photography will be here on Thursday, April 27th to take cap and gown pictures. If you would like to have your picture taken, sign up for a time slot outside of Ms. Carden's room. You must sign up in order to get your picture taken. Attention Key Club Seniors, you must have 50 points to receive a graduation medallion. If you do not have the required points, feel free to continue to volunteer and serve. Deadline is May 1st and for all points, see Ms. Cameron or Ms. Berenger if you have any questions. Seniors, if you have been offered a scholarship, please make sure to complete the Blue Scholarship Program cover sheet and return to Ms. Hagler by Friday, May 5th. If you're accepting a scholarship, you must return the information order to be recognized at the scholarship program. Ms. Hagler will be in Dr. Ritchie's office on Tuesdays and Thursdays during advisory accepting your paperwork. Seniors, Alabama Power Hydro is looking for summer help. Students interested in industrial maintenance should apply. The pay is $20 an hour. See any counselor for more details. Seniors, don't forget if you plan to use a work ease day, you must submit a written note or send an email to Ms. Mack requesting your day. No back dates will be approved. Notes can be dropped off in the main office or given to your advisory teacher. We're in the last nine weeks of the school year. We've almost made it. It's tough to stay motivated during this time of year, but encourage your friends to show up and turn in their work every day. Teachers are here to help. We look forward to seeing you every day. Every student, every class, every day. That's the Wildcat way. Students attending prom. Today is the last day to turn in your checkout notes to the basket outside Miss Ness's room. If you're planning to bring a guest to prom and did not fill in the name of your guest on the registration form, or if your guest has changed from when you filled out the registration form, please see Ms. Towns before Wednesday, April 26th. Students, please remember that all library books are due back to the library now. 9th through 11th graders Ignite is hosting a summer job fair on April 26th starting at 2 o'clock. If you're interested in attending, you must sign up with the QR code. See your advisory teacher for more info or scan the Ignite QR codes posted around the school before April 26th. Summer and fall dual enrollment deadlines are fast approaching. All online approval forms must be completed by May 1st. Current access students, the last day to submit assignments and take your final exam is May 10th. You can work on assignments in school and at home to get caught up. Tests must be taken on the TCHS campus during your access class period. Shelton State will be offering industrial maintenance dual classes this fall. You must have a 2.0 GPA and be classified as a 10th or 12th grader to participate. See Ms. Mack for more details. The Summer Bridge Program will be at TC June 12th through the 23rd and July 10th through the 21st. The Bridge Program is a fun way to learn skills outside the typical classroom setting. We will have classes like Welding, Agriculture and Construction, Aquatic Science, Introduction to AP Calculus, plus so much more. Sign up using the link on the website or find a QR code posted around the school. The deadline to sign up is May 5th. These classes are free, but you do not get a credit for taking them and transportation is not provided. Flag football tryouts will be on May 4th at the track. You must have a current physical on file to try out. Today is the last day to sign up with Coach Weeks to try out for the boys basketball team. Tryouts will be April 24th through April 27th from 315 to 515 in the gym. Students must have an up-to-date physical to try out. Girls basketball tryouts will be on May 1st and May 2nd from 315 to 5 o'clock. You must have an up-to-date physical to try out. Soccer tryouts for next year will be held the first week in May at the track field. All athletes must have an up-to-date physical to try out. Upcoming junior and senior boys tryouts will be May 15th. Upcoming freshman and sophomore boys tryouts will be May 16th and girls tryouts for all grades will be May 18th. Bowling tryouts will be May 17th at Shindig beginning at 4 o'clock. All who attend the tryout will need an updated physical. If interested, please scan one of the QR codes that can be found outside Coach McGee's room or around the school. Today is the last day to catch a spring musical, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Grab your ticket by scanning one of the QR codes posted around the school. 
Girls Volleyball will be hosting an in-school game against the Boys Athletics on April 27th. The cost will be $5 to attend, and tickets will be sold at lunch the day of the game. If you have signed up to play, your money is due to Coach Locke on Monday. Some of Mr. Greer Williams' classes got an awesome opportunity this week. Let's go to Rachel to hear about it. Our fish and wildlife management class had the opportunity to learn about some really cool raptors that live here in Alabama. The University of Auburn Raptor Center came to the County High campus to teach st students about what what all they do. We've got our hospital section, which takes in all the injured wildlife and then they release them back in the wild. And then we have our education section and that's where I work. And so we do about 300 shows annually all across the state. That's really what I enjoy doing is just traveling the state, going to all these different schools. Um, so I work with our non-releasable educational ambassadors. And so it's fun to kind of get to know them and work with them a little bit while also educating the public about raptors. Students get to see different types of rap raptors and learn more about wildlife and wildlife management here in Alabama. Students enjoyed seeing the birds in person. I thought that the show was very interesting. I loved seeing the birds fly around the gym and that one bird, a little small bird, had a funny hat. I thought that was pretty cool. The last bird it was the biggest and, and what really surprised me is that it was only eight pounds for how big it was. If you ever happen upon an injured raptor, each reach out to the Raptor Center at the number below. For Cats TV, I'm Rachel Reichstein. Another TC Cruise video. We're going to be in the office today. Don't know what that is, but it looks like a stork. We're going to come check this room out. We're going to tour your office. Is that all right with you? Yeah, it won't take long, but yes, you're welcome to tour my okay. office. We have, you know, my Mississippi State stuff since I'm a Bulldog fan. Oh, okay, hey, dogs win again. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, give me a. <laughs> <laughs> you got everybody on camera on this TV. That's right. I'm watching y'all. Wherever you are, I'm watching you. Are you like, a, you know, Toy Story when that monkey be clapping? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> that's not me. That's not me. Uh, so, what's these awards? Well, they're degrees. What's your greatest achievement? Uh, becoming the assistant principal at County High. It's probably doing this right here. You got propane tank in here? Yeah, isn't that pretty cool? That's crazy. That's so crazy. That's so like whenever kids get in trouble, where they go? They sit right there. All right, what did I do wrong? Mm, harassing. Harassing? What's the punishment? Uh, like there ain't no punishment. Uh, be real. Be good. Be good at everything that you do. And as always, go Wildcat. Get him one, one more. It's a bookkeeper, Miss Avery. You be bookkeeping a lot? Yeah, absolutely. Taking all your money. Hey, oh, this clock. That's a big clock. I can't tell time, can you? You like Cinderella or something? Yeah, so you a Bama fan? Um, well, I worked in athletics for years at the university. Worked with Coach Saban for a while, so that's where my coach's trophy and so forth. Coach Saban? Yes. Like the Coach Saban? Like, yes, the Coach Saban. Like, Saban Saban? Yeah. Would you like to say anything to, like, the world? Go Wildcats! We gonna sneak up on Miss Wheat. Hey, it's your lucky day. Oh it's your lucky day. <laughs> what you got going on today? Um, I am looking at transcripts, fees. Boring. <laughs> Not fun stuff. You ready to graduate? I think I did that a couple times already. <laughs> what is this thing right here? That is covering up some spots on the wall. What's that supposed to be? It's just a flower. Where did it grow from? <laughs> I don't know what flower that's called. Look like a turkey. You got this whole mirror. Hey, check us out. Check us out, Jess. There's just a stud in there right now. Yeah, this room is sick. Is it lit in here? If you say so. Can you say it's so lit in here? It's so lit in here. It's your lucky day. We're here with Miss Hagler. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's all right. Uh, not really, but it means you're busy, huh? Uh, absolutely. That's why my desk is a mess. You a poet and you didn't know it? Exactly. And if you got scholarships, I need them. I spit them wrong. Bye. That was lit. <laughs> so you gonna put my picture up here? Absolutely, bring it to me. You got some good words of encouragement up here. Yes. Make you feel better? Absolutely. Get your day going? Absolutely. You know, nationally, what would you say to everybody if they were watching? Oh, don't put me on the spot like that. Oh no, you're on the spot. Um, if you can't be good, be good at it. If I did it, oh, Lord, they've already got it. 
<laughs> what y'all gotta say to the camera? Oh! Cats TV! Cats TV! Yeah, Cats TV! Well, I have a lot to say. The front office is the best office in America. Let's protest. Let's protest and say more money for the front office. More money for the front office. All right, I think y'all good now. Miss Farmer. What's up? And Miss Savage. What's up? What's up? It's crazy in here 24 7. 24 7? Seven days a week? Yeah, you want to know? Saturday, Sunday? Eve? Yes, they be calling me at home. Hey, they call you from home. You know why? Because okay. y'all little baby children do not listen to the announcements in the morning. Y'all be talking during them. So then y'all come up to the window or y'all call Miss Farmer and ask what it was. I don't know what it is. I don't listen to them. And I got to do a better job because the speaker don't work in here. Okay? So I need you to know when I ask you what the announcement says. A little rant action. It's all uh, rainbows and sunshine over here, ain't it? Stop asking me about my about your attendance. We we had a wrong time to come in this office. We gonna get back out of this office. Yeah, say something sweet. We do. I love all your babies. I love to see all the sweet smiling faces and get to tell everybody how much I love them every day. And happy birthday. And happy birthday. We gonna bring it back over here. What you get? You gotta say something nice to camera. Yeah. I love y'all. And I appreciate y'all for being responsible and coming and checking on your attendance. So you can really come. Come see me if your attendance needs to be fixed. As you can see, I'm working on it because my desk is full. So I just want y'all to know this is what my desk looks like all the time. I love y'all, you know. It's lit in here. It's already so messy. <laughs> Welcome to sunny, sunny weather. With Hammonds. Hello, I'm Dale Hammonds and welcome to Weather with Hammonds. Saturday, we have a high of 74 and a low of 52. On Sunday, the high is 70 and the low is 48. Thank you for joining me on Weather with Hammonds. Back to you, Grant and Druby. Thanks, Dale, and thanks for joining us for this episode of Cats TV. We hope you have a great weekend, and as always, go, go Wildcats! Wildcats. Do I look darker? No, I was gonna say no way Drew looks darker than me. I'm Lebanese. Boy, I'm German. Welcome to Cats TV. <laughs> <laughs> seniors, Alabama Power Power High Seniors, Alabama Power Power High. Golly, what is wrong with me? <laughs> the pay is twenty dollars an hour. See a counselor for more details. <laughs> Sorry. The boys I'm usually with at lunch have been gone pretty much all week. Okay. So you've just, sat, you've just sat by yourself all week at lunch? I sat at the same table I always do, but they weren't ever there. And then where are they at right now? We can't even have fun right now, can we? No. It's normally the part of the video where I shout out Drewby. However, he's not here. You, he was a good replacement. Oh. Is he better? He's am better I? though. Uh, I, I'm, no, am I I'm, rebound? I'm saying you're, you're the rebound. Oh, but like sure. he's a better alternative, right? Am I better? I'm, just, I'm saying you're good for now. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll take it now. Thank you all for watching my YouTube channel and subscribing. I have 57 subscribers, but f but very less of you I've seen have not voted for my series. What are you doing? Go vote.